Hi, I'm Sadna from Sadna Photography. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As a photographer, I'm in a complete lockdown, but I am planning to do some tutorial videos to the newborn photographers who's trying to just start out and don't know where to start and how to do the wraps and how to do your setup for the newborn sessions. So, yeah, this keeps me busy and occupied and also help the other photographers out there. So let me get started. And also I take this wonderful opportunity and time to thank each and every vendor who helps me in setting up my whole set and keeping the baby safe. They give me a lot of um, products that is for the safety measures of the newborn photography. So hi from me and this is my little baby who's going to teach you with all the wrapping techniques. So let's get started. There are a lot of things that you have to learn before starting up a newborn session or uh, being a newborn photographer. But uh, I'm not here to talk about the necessities. I'll do a different video on that. But right now, every photographer must know, every newborn photographer must know how to do a a base wrap which is essential for the baby to be calm and quiet and you know uh, it makes your other wraps to stay in place two different base wraps I mean two different styles of base wrap whichever is easy for you you can try it out it helps you a lot in the other decorative wraps that you're going to do on on top of the base wrap so here we go the first one is a base wrap I'm going to use a stretchy wrap. Always use a stretchy wrap like this. This is from um, AliExpress, but this is a best one. I can stretch it as much as I can. You can see it. All right, let's get started. Hope you can see it. So make sure baby is safe and secure in your lap and then take one side of the wrap and uh, place the wrap underneath and take one side of the wrap and make sure the hands are secure and hold the baby's hands in one hand and in the other hand hold the wrap and tuck it in tuck it underneath the baby like that and then secure the legs of the baby like that. Hope you can see it. Yeah, secure like that. And you can take the other side of the wrap and bring it in the front like that. But the problem here is you have to know that when you do a potato wrap, when you just wrap it all around. You can see there's a gap right here and there's a gap right here, if you can see it. There's an empty space right here and here. So what happens is the potato doesn't take a round shape. It it just, you know, has some uh, curves, which is, um, you know, it doesn't give you the perfect round shape, the, the round tear shape for the potato bean. So what you could do is, you can fill in some of the cotton fabrics that you have or any extra fabrics you can just fill it up in the empty space so what I, I, I was doing in um, in the past is if the hands are on the left I make sure the legs are on the right of the baby and I fill in with the cotton um, fabrics or the, the, the cottons that I have I fill it up on the left so right now I, what I'm doing is I'm using one of these. These are from the original photo block, which I love it because this is a potato wrap bean and this gives you the perfect shape. You don't have to fill in with the cotton or you don't have to look for some of the fabric. It is just so easy. It makes your work so easy and flawless. This has a little bit of a stretch to it, so you can wrap around the baby. So um, let me show you how to use it. 
make sure it is as low as possible because when you keep it right here it gives you the round shape which is you know like a ball you don't want a ball you need a tear shape a beautiful baby like like a water droplet so what you have to do is secure the legs and keep it right here on the leg and wrap it around that's it so you can see it is as low as possible it gives you some extra space here so that when you you know wrap around you can see a tear shape and also you have a base to uh, you know to place the baby securely so this is how i keep it i keep it as low as possible that is how they recommend to the, the original photo block so keep it as low as possible and then take the wrap bring it all the way around Make sure you take off all those um, wrinkles, those lines, so that it looks flawless. And then bring it down and take it back. Look at that. Stretch the wrap as much as possible. That's why it's called stretchy wrap. Hope you guys remember I left a little bit of a fabric in the beginning. So take that out and do a knot right there. You can go another one right here and then smooth out as much as possible. To worry about uh, the back side you just have to tuck it in and you get a beautiful base wrap so when you're done with this kind of a wrap for the baby it's secure and the baby sleeps and it does what it has to do they always sleep so you don't have to remove the wraps again and again to keep changing all you have to do is just take a neutral color and just wrap it around and make sure the baby is round like this a potato a cute potato okay so now i'm going to use a decorative wrap on top of this which is this one this wrap is from uh Red Owl Props. She has the best wraps. Oh my God, I just love it. Look at the texture. Thank you so much, Danielle. And she was about to close the shop for um, for moving she out. She just sent it in like two days. It was awesome. I love her wrap. And I thank you, Danielle, for that. So right now, we're going to learn about the potato wrap and you can do the potato wrap like all round and round and round or you can also do a crisscross I don't like to do it round and round so I can also tell you like how I do it like crisscross it's the same way that we did to the base wrap what we have to do is take 
straight down. Straight down. Take it all the way here and tuck it in. So right now you don't have to worry about uh, tying this or like having an extra piece underneath. You don't have to worry about it because it's all done already. Make sure you hide all the base wrap. And always make sure the hands are out. And take it this way. Don't worry about the first wrap, I mean the first round because you're going to hide all those stuff, so don't worry about it. one you have to worry about it because you're going to do the crisscross there is another way of crisscross wrap that I do this is just the potato wrap You can bring it a little bit down and then take it like that so that you get one more line. Okay, as far as the wrapping goes, it's it's all about your creativity and then just making a perfect perfection. base wrap is not shown and there is a crisscross here and then the rest of the fabric you can just tuck it in There you go, you have a beautiful potato sack wrap. Let me show you how I place it on the bean. Okay, this is the bean that I use and I use a, a Greek flocati, which I got from the newborn custom props. baby inside so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up a little bit because there's a lot of uh, space in there if you can see
and sakura. Hope you guys can see. The next one that I'm going to talk about is the uh, wooden uh, box. On studioprops.com. Um, I will link, um, I, will, I will post the link below in the description box for everything. You guys can just go ahead and click that. And this is not a video which is sponsored. This is all my own money and I got it and this is my own property <laughs> right now. So yeah, uh, this is the photo prop that I'm having right now. And always make sure you don't use the prop by itself because this is just for a photographing purpose and not for, not built so strong to, um, you know, stand by itself, holding all the weight that we add in. So what I do is I use what I do is I use a iron um, uh, disc from Amazon. I got it from Amazon. It's um, I use the five LB one. You can see, yeah, I use the five LB one and just place it right there. So it makes um, the prop sturdy and safe for the baby. Then I use uh, some of the fillers to fill it in, or I use this one which is from the modest little me which comes in a pretty bag like this this is from the modest little me be modest okay so I use this one it has a, a base right here which is um, it's almost like a supple and soft for the baby So what you can do is just place it in for the baby. It depends on how you post the baby. If you want the baby to be like this, looking up, then place it like that. It it, it can be molded as you want. So just make sure you have everything complete. And then on top of this, you can have any wraps. I'm sorry. So you can have a basket stuffer like that. So if you have a basket stuffer like this, you don't have to use the modest little me because uh, this is going to take a lot of space. So uh, if you have the baby like this posing in front of you, that, that's when you want this. So I think I'll show you some good time. So this is the basket filler that I have. You guys can see uh, the potato wrap is crisscross right here. All right, guys. Hope you guys liked the video, and I think I've been helpful. So um, there's going to be a lot of videos like this, and next one will be my crisscross wrap, and also I'm going to. Uh, to show you some of the backdrops that I use for the baby photography and for the sitters. So keep watching and keep supporting. Please hit the subscribe button and get all the help that you want. See you guys!
Stay safe, stay home.